And welcome back to The Long Run, where we are playing Crosscode, A New Home. So last time we got a lot of stuff done. Uh, we now have our own place here in Homestead. Uh, we live right next door to Ibotar Lucas, who is now known as Luke. And uh, we finally completed that raid that uh, we, we tried to do ages ago. Also, Tr uh, Trani is back, and uh, he's an Evotar too, so lots of things going on. Anyway, Skyrail, let's go off to the Azure Archipelago. Whoa, more beach, awesome! Maybe it's just me, but doesn't all that water seem dangerous? Dear Seeker, welcome to Azure Archipelago. This location has just recently been dis discovered and made fully accessible to Operation Trackwalker. Your objective is to explore the, the area and reach the temple located in the center of the archipelago. Be prepared as the track of the ancients holds another challenge for those re reaching their destination. And they have gear too. Oh, look at that! I mean, it's not exactly fancy gear, but it's ascended gear. Um. Yeah, let's replace this one piece, but I think that's all we'll do. Oh, it's not a weapon. It's... Wait, where is it? There it is. Right at the top. The thing is mostly not worth... not worth the minuses, but uh, we can do with at least one of the weapons. And these guys are level 66, so they're not joking around. Um, Actually, Toby might have some issues with that. Well, let's see. Let's see how well we do. It's great to have you back, Johnny. I'm glad to hear it. So, will there be more random trivia about enemies? Oh yeah, actually I feel like I can still remember most of those scientific tidbits. Great, let's hope it won't be too gross. Yeah, I'm sure it won't be gross at all. There's nothing gross about starfish, right? Wow, so many starfish here. I'm just glad they didn't have that horrible sea urchins. Or, just glad you didn't add sea urchins. Those are horrible. Sea stars? You might have heard stories about how they can reproduce. When they're split apart, both parts fully regenerate into two separate sea stars. Okay. It's like a real life Hydra. Of course, not nearly as fast. I mean, yeah, there's definitely also that jewel. Let's see if we can aggro just the the star here. Ever stepped on a sea urchin, Leah? No. Good for you. It really hurts like hell. And yeah, we are definitely not done with the jumping challenges. Although this seems to be kind of a red herring. 
And you can't get over there yet. Oh, so you're like the fish in, uh, in Gaia's garden. The anglers. Pretty much exactly like them, except fire. Wait, where is the other one? How did it get all the way over here? Oh, that was exciting. I'm also trying real hard not to uh, aggro those other enemies because there are four of them. Fortunately, my part of my uh, teammates, party mates, I think those fish are likely inspired by puffer fish. Yeah, my uh, the rest of my party anyway cannot aggro random enemies. Okay, so this is the thing that we can do. So did you enjoy the jumping challenges from uh, the base game? Well, you're in luck. There's going to be a lot of them here. And I mean a lot of them. Razor tip. Just the tip. Ah. Oh, I didn't... Uh, open that up. There's something over here, maybe? No, I guess that's, I guess this is a one-way path. We're probably meant to do this um, counterclockwise. Also, we found one chest in this area. There's still one chest we haven't seen here. And there's some more botany to do. There's always more about me to do. One chest somewhere here. Ah, and here it is. Um put it at bow there. And no other chests. So exploring the Azure Archipelago is probably going to be the rest of the, this episode. I'm sure... Hmm... Archipelago... Three triangles... Brown slit in the middle could fit a coin. No idea what that could be a reference to. One chest. 
in this map. Let me guess, your name is like Tom or something? Kim. Uh, this enemy seems strong, but you be careful. Oh yeah, friggin' level 70. I didn't notice that. They brought back the worms. I'm sure everyone missed the worms. Do I have the wisdom, courage, and power to solve this? You bet I do, Jewel. I've done it before and I can do it again. Oh geez. Okay. I was not expecting to pull that entire group. It's a new kind of worm. We haven't had those for a while. Wait, are those like fire shooting frugal fish or something? Careful, Leah, I think they're toxic as well. Better not eat them. How? Oh, he leveled up. I say they're a strong bad. Do you know the Fugu Man? Well, that didn't turn splitting and regenerating sea stars into a game mechanic. We want just somewhere here. We can't actually mark it right now because we're in the battle. Ow. Oh, jeez. fish really do increase in body size like this, but just as a defense mechanism. Unsurprisingly, you don't have fish spitting fire into water. In real water. Oh, I see. Do not forget about your little theory. I never. Also, I did notice that we, uh, we pulled this worm. See if I can eat a sandwich before we die. You're pretty into fighting, aren't you? Okie dokie, another fight survived. Okay, dokie it is. It's funny how you keep saying that. Well, it's just what I do. Just like you say, Sacre Blue and all that. What? I never say that. It's such an old and outdated word. No one uses it. Um, yes you do. You say it all the time, right, Leah? Definitely do. You can't be serious. I honestly thought it was perfectly normal pe uh, for people with your background. No, it's such a dumb stereotype. Y you still say it. I don't! And stop agreeing with him, the uh, sake bleu. You just said it! I said it ironically. Okay, guys. Stop fighting. It's fine. Sake bleu. Let's get on with it. Lots of branching paths around here. Oh, 
Oh, there's a chest. Um, let's put it at around here, maybe? And that was the only chest in this area. I remember that. Try the tank turret one sometime. I don't know... Are you talking about the turret challenge, or are you talking about something else? Because I'm not sure what you're talking about. Not sure how I didn't pull them, but uh... Oh, the level 3 frost art. The witch level 3 frost art. There are, there are four different types of arts. I mean, I, I realize that there are not four uh, different level 3 frost arts. That she's gonna uh, she's gonna use. Uh, you mean throw? Oh, okay. There you go. For a break? We just had a break. Ragnarok. What? Well, there's your break, I guess. Uh, there are two chests here. At least I saw what killed me. I just didn't see it coming, that's the problem. Surrounded by water. Aren't you guys a bit nervous? It might look pleasant, but it's actually quite deadly here. Let's go fight something else for a second. Just so I can gain some SP and then promptly use it. I, I can't help it. The like using uh, using combat arts it's kind of built into my brain. Oh jeez, you're not dead. How are you still not dead? Thank you. Down. 
Interesting that uh, that Emily's down, but uh, Toby is fine. Uh, at, th at this point, there really isn't anything else to uh, to worry about with Toby. We we already know most of what's going on with him. I was just pointing out the fact that he's actually pretty good in this new area, despite being underleveled. And yeah, he is a range class, so that's gonna contribute to that. Whereas Emily is primarily melee. Doodle. Whoa, okay. Macho friggin' turtle, I guess. Uh, now is not the time that I need messages sent to me. Uh oh. Ooh, that was tough. We got turtles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they are level 71. They aren't going to kick our asses! So we're up here, and we can get this chest of five core stones. Uh, was that the only chest here? What? What am I? What am I doing now, Jewel? Well, this isn't conspicuous at all. What's that? And I explained the evading thing. Oh, you mean the fact that it just kind of stops after a while? Yeah, I get one, two, three, four. Actually, wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. Uh, yeah, I get four dashes. After that, I have to stop in order to dash more. I think you get three, and then I have a piece of equipment that gives me another one. Uh, let's see. Either a piece of equipment or... Something gives me another one. Okay, yeah. Extra dash. Grants an additional dash. Yeah, there is no on-screen indicator, unfortunately. Which can make it a little frustrating sometimes. Uh, two chests here. I just think, Jewel, whenever, if I if I can ever get to um, to affiliate status, then you'll be able to mark messages as uh, important so that they stand out, which Chatty does support. So it'll be even ruder when I completely disregard the message because I'm not looking at chat.
All without disturbing the turtle. except the fire one who resisted a little bit because fire. There we go. So now we hit this button. And we're able to make the full circle around. I wonder what would happen if I were to level up, like if like combat ran out while I'm in midair. And so I level up kind of in the middle of that transition. I imagine it would probably just wait until I've landed on the ground. Let me get over there. There's a whole thing going on around here. It's not something that I can access from here. And there, yeah, there are two chests here. How long does this go? I'm pretty sure I'm following it backward, which is what I want to do. Oh. Well, there's one of the chests. Okay, so that opens that up. Well, maybe I was following it forward. Huh, okay. I mean, following it forward is not going to do us any good, unfortunately. How long does this go? Yes. Uh oh. Um, I was trying. I was trying to pay my respects, and then all of a sudden, I got attacked by everything. What's going on? The memorial to all of these starfish that we're currently in the process of killing. We got MacGuffin's coin. Hmm. throw starfish in the water and they take damage. Just as it should be, Joel. Just as it should be. Okay, well there's a chest here. We've already marked that one. Okay, and that's got to be achieved by getting, by jumping there. Anyway, for now, let's take a look at what's in the center of the archipelago here.
while also killing things along the way because we're definitely going to need experience. We're probably going to need to, need to be at least level 70 in order to do anything good and preferably you know, higher level than that. to chess as generic locations. And there is one chest here. At the altar of the key. Why is everyone sitting here? Not sure. Just thought I'd join. Isn't there an event? Are the bosses supposed to spawn from the ocean? That was a boss? I was vibing here and then y'all decide to sit next to me. It's cool, all, but there's no boss. Oh. I'm just sitting here is nice too. For someone who is bored of sitting here, you, you sure are still sitting there. Let's go see what's up here. Okay. Oh. 36? Okay. Well, let's start by building some SP. I should take care of most of them. Ow. Oh geez. Okay, y'all can y'all can take that for me, I guess. Oh, what's going on? Okay. Um, so I think these guys you have to ice first and then flame. Oh jeez, that hurt a lot, and I'm dead. That was cool. All right, let's do that again. Expecting to do a uh, dash art there, but uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yikes. <sighs> Holy crap. Then we ice. 
Then we can actually do, like, good damage. Speaking of good damage, I have taken a bit of a good bit of damage, so uh Yeah, I was expecting there to be friggin' turtles. There we go. We got it. Shing. We got our level and most of another one. And here is the big guy, Diorbis. Your journey brought you to this land enclosed by the deep sea. Traveling over shallow water, jumping from island to island, fighting your way through hostile nature, your accomplishments shall be acknowledged. Take the shade to open the door to your, toward your final destination. Your resourcefulness is apparent and deserves one final reward. I shall add to your strength to prepare for your last task. And our SP bar has been extended. Our base SP is now 4, and our maximum is now 16. And let your every step form the path of your growth. Seeker, you just acquired the ancient shape. It is the last prerequisite to access the final part of the track. The Temple of Colera. Hey, it's Colera, if you don't know. However, be aware that the integration of this new location has, n has yet to be finalized. Nevertheless, the preparations should be completed soon. Once the temple is integrated, it can be accessed in the northern part of Sapphire Ridge. Seeker, make sure you are well prepared. This temple will truly pose the ultimate challenge of the track. For all of your accomplishments, you will receive one more reward as well. Three circuit overrides that I'm never going to use. Seeker, once preparations are completed, I'll be expecting you at the entrance of the Calero Temple. Good luck and stay vigilant. Alright, we got the shade! Too bad the dungeon isn't available yet. Let's hope they'll add it soon. Spearmancer Leah! I see you've just collected the final shade. Our task in this new area has been completed, and you know what that means. It is time for a final duel! Where? Right, as for the location, I suggest the northwest of Rhombus Square. As it happens, that part of the city has been dedicated has dedicated arenas for PvP battles. Excellent! I'll be waiting for you. Be prepared. Leah. Of course, there's no rush. And he's probably like level 70 by now, so... We probably should not hurry over there quite yet. Still got about an hour left, so... Let's just enjoy our time in Azure Archipelago and um, see what we can see, get some more levels. Solve some obnoxious jumping puzzles, perhaps. I did get two neutral points and I also leveled up a bunch of times too. Um, 
Maybe I'll hold on to those for now. Just for the fact that we're not done leveling up. Um, I'm probably going to forget, so please remind me, Jewel, that uh, by the end of the stream at the latest, um, I should probably apply my serving points. And if we go to fight uh, Apollo, then we should definitely do it before fighting Apollo. There, there are some spots that you can jump out of. Surely one of them is going to have something interesting behind it. I think I can, yeah, I can jump on this tree. Well, jumping down there isn't going to help anything. Right. Um, there. There. Does being here give us anything? I don't think it does. Oh, there's another tree that we can jump on. There we go. And we get Baby of the East. What the heck is this? Destined to be the guardian of something great. It's a monkey! A minky. It is a minky. Um, forgot to mark the chest, but I think that I think that might have been the only one. Um, I will exit this map and then re-enter right away and make sure that there are no other chests. Yeah, there are no other chests in this in this map. But now, part of the puzzle here is to figure out where we can climb up to um, take on what seems to be a massive jumping puzzle. Seems like this is, uh, this might be it. Let's get ready for an adventure. Actually, what's, what's up here? Oh. It's one of the chests. Think they can see us? Shh. Oh, 
Okay, so that was very much um, an exit path. But that wasn't the only way that we could go. <laughs> They're doing the thing. Indeed, Jewel. Although I think those hearts actually came from uh, the idle animation, because when, remember, when a pet is out, instead of our stretch, well, we get our stretching idle animation, and then. Huh. He's not doing it. Oh, well, whatever. But I'm pretty sure that Leah pet the monkey. That's one of these long jump puzzles, isn't it? Oh, you have no idea, my friend. We, oui, it's going to be long. At least it's not so bad when we're doing this, like, next to deep water. Because if we fail, we'll just get respawned on the platform. Oh, that's a relief. I'm starting to get stressed out about the thought of falling down. But yes, the game does give us shortcuts. Naturally shaped stone bridge? No, of course it doesn't make sense. Looks nice though. Okay there, monkey. Pretty sure the, this was our only move that kept us going. And fortunately, we hit that thing, so we can keep going. We've been jumping along this way for quite a while now, haven't we? Checkpoint still not over. Another report. Are we supposed to go down? Okay. And jump over here. We got a shell nut. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get back. Oh no, we can. Alright, so that enables that. try to get that in case that's like the Omega one. That wasn't the Omega one because it didn't drop anything. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to head back. 
Um, go ahead and kill some things, because we're here. Dang it! Can you please let me eat my sandwich? This is here. Well, Seeker Senses doesn't seem to be detecting anything. Okay, so this seems to have been the intended path. However, we did need to go around the other way, because otherwise this would be lit up. At this point, I almost miss walking on water. Anything over here? Looks like no. Dang it. I don't know if I want to fall there. Oh no, 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 it's fine. It just won't stop. Another checkpoint, so we're still not there yet? Or is that it? It's still not over, you've got to be kidding me! Yep, this, uh, this jumping puzzle spans literally the entirety of the Azure Archipelago. We have really feel like smashing a few things now. Full circle, almost. Another checkpoint! We just went back to. Uh, uh, we just went all the way back where we started! Tree. 
something over there. Dang. Can you imagine if there were no checkpoints? This treasure can't possibly be worth the trouble to get here. Chunky. We got we got chunky. Uh who's chunky? Please do not feed it anymore. The kitty! The kitty kitty. Donut? Very slow kitty. Chonky boy. You don't get donut, but you get pets. But uh, yeah, no, that wasn't uh, that wasn't our objective. We're not quite done yet. Um, I don't remember what the next thing is. Oh, over here. We did it! Finally! We get a MacGuffin's coin for that. So now we have two of them. And also, that's gonna take care of the chests in this area. What the coin doing? We'll find out. There is still a chest here. Uh, do we know where it is? Yeah. We know where it is ish. If we can find that, um, that last shortcut. There should be a shortcut around here, I think. Where the heck is that last MacGuffin? I swear I looked everywhere. Nobody knows. Trust me, I look, I asked around a lot. What do you mean? Did no one find it? Seems like it. Maybe there was no way to get it just yet. Can't believe it. Okay, well. That's our hint. Don't bother looking for it. You can't get it yet. Um, so with that, there is one thing that we've been putting off for a while. And I think it's in Basin Keep. This might take a little bit of looking around. I don't remember exactly where. Also, we found all the chests. We can take these marks off. There we go. Let's check the secret hub. I like these, uh, these floor names. Second floor, business. Third floor, more business. Fourth floor, serious business. Okay, so not here. Let me see. Uh, 
Uh, it's probably gonna be under here, actually. No? Oh, we don't have it, do we? You know what? I'm gonna check Baki Kun. Uh, level 3 is 6 SP, actually. Because level 1 takes 1. Level 2 takes 2 more, and level 3 takes 3 more, for a total of 6. There's Bob Ross still painting away. Huh. You have a new quest for us. Well, I'm not looking for you yet. I honestly don't remember which is the last one we did. wasn't base and keep. It's your deal. You're not the one that I want to talk to, so I'm not going to talk to you yet. Okay, that's the, uh, the scary, the scary, yeah. Maybe the trade partnership? No, you have a new quest, but not the one I'm looking for. I'm just gonna look this one up. Uh, let's see. Mouse code. Echelon Tower. There you are. Hmm. Leo dear. Hi. You've done it again, young lady. Maybe I should see a doctor about my ears. Are you up for finding another piece of broken equipment? Great. I was just about to skim through these books. The player told me that there is a hidden text here that leads to the next one. This time we were searching for a broken deck. And that seems to be the default weapon of hexacasts, a deck of cards. Why not help me? We players can simply use our secret sense or whatever it was called. It does come in handy for an old man like me. 
Anyway, are you ready? Thanks, kid. Only two more to go. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Judging from the last couple of pieces, this one should be hidden somewhere in Guy's garden, right? Let's just start searching through these books. If you can find something of use, you can go ahead and look for it. You know, I'm too old to be running around willy-nilly. An archaeologist once found a stone tablet near the entrance of the Grand Crescaio. On this tablet, a riddle was written. Those who seek the lost shrine must go to the most royal of coverts behind the tree. The latter part was already too old to read. Below the text, a, a strange sequence of arrows was written too. The researchers assume the shrine is to be found in the fittingly named area of the Royal Grove. Uh, let's see. Also, what do you mean 1 out of 99? Oh, um, I can't point to it, but uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Right now it says 42 out of 99. Uh, that is how many stamps that you have on the map. Uh, so you, uh, right now I have 42, I guess. 42? Really? And you can have up to 99 per map. There's something about the Royal Grove, apparently. In here? Aha! Strange markings are at the side of the tablet. In the middle are multiple buttons that resemble arrows and letters. Do you want to press some of them? Hmm. Well, uh, we, we haven't gotten any hints on what to put in, but what if I... I don't know. Let's put in some random... Um, buttons here and see what happens. No, that didn't work. Let's see. There we go. Cat does say donut. Oh, it looks like an instance. Another dungeon. Let's hope this one has some nice treasure. And yeah, there there is a uh, tablet uh, near the Grand Crest Cayo that actually tells you about the um, the thing. So I probably need to release both of these at about the same time. You see all those lilies? They need like four to six hours of daylight. Ow. Yeah, how should it work here? Probably some in-game lore, ancient chat technology, blah blah. Let's see.
I think we need to have a box right there. And another one. Oops. Right about here. I just kind of went off into nowhere. Okay, so it needs some room to actually kind of re-manifest itself. Yeah, there we go. Aha! So now we have this. What can we do with it? Our pet's having a little freak out there. That's why I usually have pets disabled. They just kind of freak out. If I can warp myself over there. There we go. Oh. Interesting. What are you looking for me to do here, game? Because previously I could have uh, done this, but I can no longer do that because there's a black hole there. And I can't bring this block back over here, so that's not the intended solution. Because otherwise there would be a one-shot solution that this game just would not do. I think we want this block over here so we can put it down there. That's the, that's the sense that I'm getting. Okay, so we can put it back there. And then I immediately start pushing the wrong buttons. Ah! And now switch to wave. There we go. And that's permanently lit. Okay. So we don't we're we're not on a time limit. This is just permanently lit up. We're good. 
Um, but now. If I do that, now that just goes off into infinity afterward. And we have this block, and I'm not really sure what to do with it. And it obviously, just respawns right there. Should work, shouldn't it? No other way, dummy. There we go. No, there's a black hole back there. Oh, let's just move this over here. But I think that's the idea. Yeah, there we go. So that opens that up, but we still have the question, the eternal question, how do I get up there? That's part of the solution. The other part is going to be getting this block up there, putting it up on that pedestal. Oh, there we go. A little bit of skill, a little bit of luck. Run out of gas, maybe get stuck. Um, get a glue. Aha! We were looking for that for some gear that's available in Rhombus Square somewhere? No, in, uh, in at the Cave Inn. Okay. Seems silly. I think that's basically telling us what we need to be doing for this boss battle. Basically, Ganon. Uh, 
Like, it is super Ganon. Aha! Die, die, die. Unfortunately, like, we're way over level for this fight. Broken deck. Oh, yeah, there is still a chest in there, isn't there? I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't have any protection on it, so it probably isn't too big. Welcome back, kid. Any luck finding the broken deck? I knew I could depend on you, Leah. That means there's only one left. How? Hmm? What is it, kid? Why? I don't understand. Just say what you want. You can't say? So you can say some words, but not full sentences? Oh, that sure is weird. I know some people have problems with the talking in this game. But this is new. Sorry. It's okay, Leo. We'll get around it somehow. I'll just keep asking you can use your hands or head or whatever possible, okay? Alright, so I will just take a wild guess and assume you want to know how this will all work out. As you know, my kids always wanted to find the, the treasure connected to the five broken arms. Well, I promised my children we would find it. And I want to keep this promise by contacting them once we found all the pieces. If I tell them I found all the broken bits, maybe, just maybe, they'll play with me again. Thank you for your hard work. It's time for me to go. Bye! He just wants to spend some time with his kids. Ain't that cute? Uh, so first let's go to the cave in because there is a piece of gear we can get now. We can get a piece of gear. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Ah. Here it is. The old getta. I don't know why we got three getta glue. It has been done. Finally, I can find a new project. Thank you, Seeker. Now leave me. My creator mind needs solitude. And that's a bit... This is actually still a bit of an upgrade. If we lose the extra dash, we'll get nimble feet. Uh, not what I wanted to press. Ah, too many buttons. Ah! Ah, uh, there we go. Let's start. I'm not... There we go. Makes it uh, possible to freely walk on the sticky webs created by the Arenatarda and subspecies. 
So basically, the spiders. So if we were to go to one of the caves in Sapphire Ridge now... Um, we wouldn't be um, slowed down by the spiders. Uh, so now is he going to show up in Sapphire Ridge or is he going to show up in Rhombus Square? I'm going to look it up again because I do want to f really I do want to finish this quest line. Okay, Rhombus Square Books and Worms. Also, there's a building there that I can get to. It might be interesting to check out at some point. Should be this one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Hi. Must admit, I was expecting you, yet you still managed to surprise me. <laughs> uh, now, now don't get cocky, I'm an old man. Anyway, there is only one more piece missing in our little puzzle. Should we find it, I might be able to fulfill my promise to my kids. No reason to look sad, little one. I'm sure if we can get them all in one place and talk to them, this will all end well. Alright, the last ones are the broken chakras. Are you ready to help me one final time? I appreciate it, kid. This one starts off just like the last one. There's a book here talking about a place in Sapphire Ridge. It's in the shelf to the left. Give it a read and see if you can make something of it. The locals indulged passionately in the art poems, a war in the bellow, it goes like this. Silent evenfall, shall a, me a mealy stern bug wait by the campfire, composure nighttime, an old pan- uh, uh, ah, an old pan- an old strong panda walks watching the berry tree. I mean, at this point, we're not doing it for the experience, Jewel. We're doing it for... We're doing it for the experience, but not the experience points. If that makes any sense. Anyway, I thought it would be here, but it's not. The Tranquil Bamboo and Sapphire Ridge. Or behind the cherry tree is a hidden bamboo path that leads to Baton Pond. Okay, so yes, we are we are in the correct map. This is Tranquil Bamboo. Ah, here we are. Hmm. And this is the tree that they were talking about. Oh, here we are. Oh, that was really well hidden, actually.
Oh, okay. I have to hit all of the switches in about a minute, minute and a half. Height check. No, we can't reach that. But I might go a little bit over because I do want to finish this quest tonight and also get the reward for doing the entire um, quest line after that. It shouldn't take too much longer, additionally. I'm just trying to get a sense of the entire path here. And there's going to be that one. Oh, we can make that jump, okay. And those are the last two. There's also one over there. Ooh, this is going to be a challenge. And that also counts in that. Okay, well we can get that chest at least. Get that out of the way. Some vanilla ice cream. Cool. Honestly, don't remember where I'm supposed to be going. Because that was a big trajectory we need to do.
Yeah, I could do with uh, with Hat Kid's uh, time stop hat. Yeah, and the, the guy just says complete the time parkour challenge by hitting all seven switches around the pond to gain access to the locked off cave. Come on, I'll tap to the correct place. I don't want to go too far over either. Like over the stream time. Where do I go from here? I don't remember. Ah, why does my memory suck? Emily, what are you doing? Emily, uh, stop. Don't do that. Oh, dear, what is, what is going on is you're being a dumb. Pretty sure if we mess up that jump, we're just not going to make it. So just reset the timer and try again. Fortunately, we can uh, sort of stop time. Not like Hat Kid can. But we can stop and think. Okay. Then over here. Uh, no. No! That's not it. That's hot. That should be high enough? No? There we go. I don't know why that worked. Oh, right. I need to do this. And we're going to run out of time. time for this stream. No. I said I was going to do it. I, I'm going to do it. Uh, Freaking hell. What was it again? Right. Did that take so many tries?
Yeah, we're gonna run out of time again. Got it. Wait, no, there's still one left? What did I miss? I missed one, and I don't know which one. <sighs> okay, one. Maybe I missed that one. Yeah, because then four, then five, six, seven. Yep, that's that's the one that I missed. Ah, game, please. Like, I have an appointment tomorrow morning. Can we not do this? And of course, Jewel took a clip of my absolute failure at this project. Because that's what Jewel does. You are a scam. Okay. Get up there. Get that one. What the? Why is that one so hard to hit? I don't understand. If I get into combat with these guys, it's pretty much done. <sighs> Maybe I... No, I don't have enough time! Fuck! I mean, that time I got a first try.
me, I got it now, but the problem is the execution. Like, it's super tight timing. If I miss slightly... Like, that's a huge time waste there. That's me flailing because I am bad at the game. No, stop the negative... Stop the negative self-talk, Julio. You got this. You can do this. And a lot of the problems are the game's problem and not yours. There we go. Ah, what's in here? With all these things in these quest rooms, this moon must be almost entirely hollow. Oh boy, it's making this work here. Oh no! Oh, whatever. It's minimal damage. to guide it a little better. Yeah, there we go. Not blown up again, but again. Minimal damage. See, I can now just walk through. Uh, let's see. I can now walk through these uh, spider webs without it affecting my movement at all. Grunt. Angry grunt. Hi. Oh. Also, oh, these guys are not that much lower level than me.
Uh... Oh, that's cool. Um, how am I supposed to deal with that? I literally cannot get to you, friend. Oh, here we go. Ow. Jeez. Oh, that was a that was um You're a little excited, aren't you? Dang it. So I'm probably gonna have to do this twice this time. Sure enough. Basically, when it opens up like that, we have to hit it from the side. That's what's going to break it. And I think it can heal from those uh, pylons. So we need to destruct additional pylons. up this time. And get it, get it, get it. Okay. So let me guess. Three times? All of a sudden it goes like four times just to mess me up. Just block the Omega Death Beam. Don't think that's how it works, Joel. to the pit. The 67,000 damage for your last hit. Broken chakrams. Uh, Rhomba Square, right? Jewel, it's 1.15. I just want to finish the quest.
Welcome back, kid. Any luck finding the broken chakrams? Darn right. You really did it. Well, only you did it, to be fair. Thanks! Well, I guess there's no point in waiting. Let's make some arrangements and get the word out to my children. You should all meet at the place where we first heard of this quest, the observatory in Autumn's Rise. And clip Derpy Emily. Oh, okay. Would you be willing to join us? It's only fair, and I trust you. Thanks, Kiddo. I'll be leaving then. See you at the observatory. Bye! Is it just me, or did he seem nervous? Oh, I am sure everything will work out after all the work you went through. So now we get to solve the mystery of the old observatory. So, who do you think messaged us, uh, uh, Ellie? No clue, but it's nice checking out the game after so long. True, it must have been like a half a year ago. Work, started, work really started to pick up, so I didn't really have that much time. Same here. Hi! Why, hello, Horned One. Are you our mystery sender, perhaps? Why? We all got a message asking us to meet here. Wait! Oh, so you, do you know something about our sender? So, who is it? Sorry. Everyone's already here. Hi! Hey, kiddo. Nice to see you here. Dad? Hello, ones. Nah, we should have guessed that. Dad was the one who sent the message. That sure makes sense. What's up with all the secrecy, Dad? Well, you see, you've all been so busy and nobody had time to meet me in the game day. To meet in the game and hang out with your old man. And I promised you we would finish this quest. So I thought if I could get it nearly done, you'd all come and play again. Dad, really? Yes, I know. You're all very busy. I'm sorry to be a bother. It's just that I really missed you all. Oh, Dad, that's not what no one meant. Why didn't you just call and tell us? Yeah, we don't need a fancy quest to hang out with our father. Besides, Jonah and Sophie could make it anyway. We need a, we need members of all classes, right? Oh, you guys, I didn't, I just didn't want to bother you with my problems. Oh, come on, Dad. You can always talk to us. I feel very stupid. Well, you should. And who, who's your blue-haired friend over here anyway? Yeah. Yes, this is Leah. She helped me find all of those broken pieces needed for the quest. In fact, I barely did anything. Oh boy, I'm sorry, Leah. I'm s I hope he wasn't too much of a problem. He can get very dramatic sometimes. He can get very, very dramatic sometimes. Hey now. Seems like a long talk is due. How about we go to our favorite cafe in Rhombus Square and have a chat? Maybe set a date in which Joan and Sophie are available too? That would be nice. You kids go ahead. There's something I need to, to give Leah before I leave. Alright. Bye, Leah. It's nice meeting you. Yeah, see you around. Bye! Um, seems I owe you an apology. I misjudged the whole situation. And made you get all these items for what now feels like nothing. Because of this, I think it's only fair that you have them. Thank you for everything, baby. My kids are everything to me, but it seems I let my fear of losing them take over. I believe that I did something wrong, but I guess this old man still has a lot to learn. Anyway, I'll be on my way now. Bye! Everything went well with me. You still do not know why he's wearing that armor. Maybe he got it during the beta phase? Looks like I'm going to have to have a chat with our design team. But now how do we open this? What is broken has been found. Now all shapes must, to get, must come together to reveal the truth. How? 
All shapes, huh? Sounds like you need a player from each class to open this door. Maybe you can ask maybe you can ask Tim to help out. So I think this is not something that we could have done while Toby is gone, but he's back. So let's do that. Oops. I'm going to have to end very soon because I am running out of disk space. Hi! Nia dear, how can I help you? Oh, do you want me to look at those items? Oh, would you look at that? You find yourself the broken equipment of the ancients. Did you collect them all by yourself? Congratulations, dear! So now you want to open the old observatory, eh? <laughs> well, you came to the right place to get some help. Let's see, we need a player from each class. And happily fill in as the Quadra Guard. With you as a Sphermancer, this leaves Tribe Leader, Pentaphis, and Hexacast to be filled. Oh, I know. Why not ask Emily and Trani? I'm sure both will be willing to help, eh? Well, they're right here. I mean, you could, we could just ask them now. So the only thing missing is a Tribe Leader. I believe Buggy hasn't uh, entered the observatory yet, so he may be a perfect fit. Is that okay with you? All right, I'll contact Buggy and tell him to meet. Uh, tell him to meet at the observatory. I'm sure you'll want to ask Emily and Tron yourself. When you're ready, meet me in front of the observatory, okay? Oh, this gets me all excited. I've it's been quite a while since Al and I did this event. I'll be going on ahead. See you later, Leah. Bye. So I think basically asking em uh, Emily and Toby is just having them in your party, which we already do, so. And we don't have to be conflicted about which, um, which Lucas to bring because we actually don't need Lucas, unfortunately. Hey Leah. Hello dear. Hi. Looks like everyone's here, eh? Hello, you two. Uh, hello, you two. Bonjour. What are you guys doing here? What, didn't Leah tell you? You were right there, guys! How? Buggy, the joke's getting a bit old. Sorry, ma'am. Anyway, we're here today because Leah's found the five broken relics. With these, she can unravel the secret behind this ruined observatory. However, all five virtues must come together in unison to unlock the door. As long as there's loot, I'm in. I didn't know there was such an event. Well, it's not as easy to find as it's not connected to any other quest. Each region has a secret area that contains one of the pieces. Oh well, I was never good at finding all those secret locations. You were with me! Just shut up! Typical new players. They don't know the joy of walking aimlessly through the wilds for hours. All to find a piece of broken equipment. <laughs> Why are you here, buddy? It's a secret to everybody. You haven't found any of these items to yourself either, we? Precisely. So what exactly do we need to do? We, we? Where's the loot? It's quite simple, actually. First, each one of us needs to hold one of the relics. The sword for a tribe leader, the shield for a quadriguard, the gauntlet for a pentafis, the deck for a hexacast, and finally the chakrams for a spermancer. Then we stand next to the plates here and fit the relics in. And the rest is in the hands of the ancients. Sounds simple enough, let's get on it. Right, Nia dear, do you, do you mind handing us each one of the relics? Here you go. Now everyone, fit, fit your relics in and then step on the plates. Wow, funky. Suck it, dude, what just happened? 
Looks like we got transported into the observatory. Why not just open the door? I was actually wondering about that too. Maybe it's to make sure only five enter at the same time? Well, best just to have a look around, right? Yes, I want my loot. Anyway, here we go. You have conquered even the most daring trials. You, the traveler, the envoy of change. To seek wisdom of the gods, we built this observatory. Maybe it, be, it may be your guiding light in wait for the message from the sky. For your achievements, we grant you the ability to become even stronger. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Well, there you have it. We have discovered the observatory and gotten our reward. So let's go ahead and cash in our reward. Um, I kind of wish I had one more circuit point for uh for neutral, but unfortunately that's not the case. Uh, let's see, max HP would be pretty nice. Attack would also be good. Let's go with attack. We have five circuit points here. Hmm. Now, I don't really use the guard arts, but um, just the ability to oh, HP region. Let's switch to this path actually. And be able to get this HP region in, uh, what is it, 25%? Darn right. We'll hold on to that last point. It's weird how it's all silent here. Oh! I just noticed. So I can increase here as well. Um, defense or focus. See, cost four circuit points. So it activates everything up to that point. That's nifty. I didn't know you could do that. I don't really need the maximum guard art. But if we were to select it though. Yeah, see 12 circuit points. Also, I wonder what it would do. Because here there's a split. So would it just kind of ask me which one I want? I legit didn't know. I don't even think I ever did that during my original playthrough. Okay. So for now, that's what I've, that's going to be my spend. Well, there you are, dear. Hi. And? Did you like what you saw? I think this, where, this is where the ancients gazed upon the stars. I especially love the bunnies on that mural. Oh, come on now, Buggy. Those were clearly meant to depict the ancients themselves. So, not bird people, but bunny people? 
Um, there was that rabbit uh, in uh, Autumn's Fall that we had to follow. Anyway, where are the other two? Welcome back! How was it? Well, it certainly was interesting. We got some nice circuit points to spend. Yes, more power for me! All thanks for our Shehi Leia. Mia? Huh? Me? No need to thank me. I was, I'm happy I was able to help. Especially with an event so rich in lore. I hate to break up the party so soon, but I gotta run. It's alright. Sadly, this is where the event ends anyway. I guess I'll make my way back to headquarters, eh? See you soon, everyone. Bye! Au revoir! Bye! Who's in for bashing some monsters with our newfound powers? Oh wait, I haven't used my circuit points yet! That is definitely something that we're going to be doing. But it is something that we're going to be doing next time, because we're already half an hour over our, uh, our stream time. I'm going to have so much video to convert. Anyway. So that is going to do it for today's stream. I want to thank y'all for watching, whether it was only Joel Mara or anyone else. Um, and also thank you to Axe for the raid. Wish I could have actually noticed that you did it when you did it, but yeah. Uh, the next scheduled stream is the Code Creator stream tomorrow at 3 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time and I don't really have anything for it. Um, honestly, I might just use the time to practice on Smash TV some more instead, but um, we'll see. Um, the next stream after that is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time, and uh, I think that Archipelago 0.3.0 will be released, which I think will include four new games. That's including Meridus. Um, so tune in for that. And uh, that brings us round the week, round the wheel to our next uh, long run stream over where we will continue our look at CrossCode, A New Home. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, is there anyone? Yes, uh, Sussball is streaming, so I will send you over to there as soon as I can find. Hey, where did I put my dashboard? Oh, there it is. Find the correct buttons here to do that. Uh, so yeah, she's playing Trails in the Sky, uh, currently on the chapter 3, so that's where I'm going. I invite you to come with me. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna do it. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.